two different inspirations. One, I was sitting with um, Kim Harrison in Starbucks, and we were both exhausted, both finishing series uh, or novels. And we decided we would not complain, <laughs> which was really hard. And instead, we would spend the time over tea, because we didn't meet very often, talking about what we really wanted to do next. And this series was in. And so she told me hers, which I will not share. And I told her mine, which was, I have this line that keeps going through my head, which is, Katie's ladies, the, the most continuously still operating courthouse in New Orleans. But I knew that a madam would probably not be the best character for a, an ongoing series, a long running series. And especially since, in my vision, that madam was a vampire. So my next thought was, well, I've just found out that I'm not white, and I am, in fact, um, probably about 40% mixed tribal American, and that part of that was Cherokee. Yeah. So I had begun to research a little bit about the mythos of the Cherokee, and out of that came the Skinwalkers, and out of that came Jane Yellenrock, who is a pre- white man influence uh, Cherokee Skinwalker because the post-white man influence Cherokee Skinwalker was evil and Jane was not. Hmm.